dragging Coach Prime's name and reputation. Now, you want to be the voice of morality? Come on, bro. Let's not forget. Be advised, my OnlyFans is now 20% off. Weirdos are going to come after y'all. Oh, no. Never. Oh, never. What's going on, Buff Nation? Man, do I have something that'll make you roll with laughter? I promise you this video is going to make your day and make you laugh your ass off. Our favorite guy, Matt Reynoldson, just can't help himself. You'd think after all this time, he'd have learned to keep Colorado out of his mouth by now. But nope, here he goes again, proving that common sense ain't so common anymore. It's like he wakes up every morning and chooses to embarrass himself. This time, though, it's a video from DNVR Sports that has little Matt all up in his feelings. And I promise you're going to love this. So Reynoldson fires off this tweet, acting like he's the gatekeeper of journalism, saying it's still unfathomable to me that any credentialed member of the media would make a complete joke of themselves like this. If I'm Colorado's sports information department, I'm embarrassed. There's a reason he wasn't in the Arizona press box. Matt, 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 please. You were saying all this, but you should be more embarrassed by the ass whipping that happened in Tucson last Saturday. Cry harder, Matt. Instead of crying over a tweet like a little bitch, maybe get mad at Brett Brennan and Arizona's coaching staff for letting Colorado run through y'all. But nay, you're too busy whining like a little girl like you didn't talk all that shit last year, dragging Coach Prime's name and reputation. Now, you want to be the voice of morality? Come on, bro. Let's not forget, this is the same Matt who made a whole three-minute video on why Buff fans should be upset with Coach Prime, calling our program a mess and saying it was unsafe. Now, all of a sudden, you're pressed about us celebrating a win? Talk about hypocrisy. You don't speak for Colorado, Matt, and you sure don't represent us. So for the last time, worry about the team you actually paid to cover instead of sticking your nose in our business. And Matt, let's be real. Does it bother you that we're living rent-free in your head? Now belt to ass. I'd like to end with some personal news this evening, but more so a thank you to the place I'll always call home. Tonight's my last broadcast on Channel 8, and therefore my last here in my hometown. I've lived here all my life. I couldn't be prouder to say I'm from Lincoln, Nebraska.